You're listening to the Wired for Impact podcast. I, I, I'm with people who, who haven't, you know, haven't made bank as much, and I see the money stress, and I see how they're working on it. It's one of the worst things to be on, and I've experienced it. So I wasn't born in a rich family, and I, you know, I literally went bankrupt. You know, credit up. So I know the horrible feeling of having to borrow a few bucks to put a tire on your flat. Just remember. You are not some of your bank accounts if you're under duress right now. You are a human being worthy of love and worthy of great life and great experiences. And keep retaining that. You need that mentality. And when the times are getting that tough, you have to recognize that this is a psychological war before anything else. So the first thing I did, I went through a divorce. I lost both parents, my business and fell out with a business partner. This is all 2007, 2008, and I lost access to my daughter. And then I lived in a essentially a stable, a reconverted stable with a gap this big in the door with no natural light in it, and it was my purgatory moment. So, you know, I hit wow. the wall. I know wow. what it means to hit the wall. Those All those things happened in a period of 18 years. Cancelled out both parents within 18 months of each other, and all of that. And then I know what it was when I say I couldn't put a tire on a flat wheel to get to my contract work, working on limited, you know, three days a week, little bit of hours here, starting right from the bottom back up again. So, I mean, I, I know that. And the one thing I did correct about focusing that is the only thing I controlled was my physical being. So I just worked out. I got into the best shape. I did micro workouts. I had beams. And I essentially played a game with myself. I woke up under the beam and I said, chin until failure. I would literally hold the beams. They had splinters. I wore it smooth. I was doing it every day. Mm. Or you hang yourself. So what are we doing? Are we hanging? Or we? So every day it was chinning. I never was serious, super serious about any kind of suicide. But I said I made it a point to choose life every day. And I just mm. got jacked. I mean, I was fit. And and then I, you know, I got a bit went out a couple of dates to still feel after a while, after the post-divorce, you know, you get a bit of interaction and you have some fun and slowly built the career and business back. And it's amazing what you can achieve. You can all go through this. I went through the bankruptcy of the world in that 2007, eight period, and nine, 10, 11 was all a big, big recovery. And I recovered immensely. Today, I'm exceedingly fortunate person. I can tell you, all of you recognize when you are going through that moment. And I'm saying globally, we're going to have to do this again. So mm-hmm. I had my personal obstacle course. Many people had a difficult subprime, understandably, if you're in the property game like I was at the time. And as I say, everything fell out, business partner, whatever, legals everywhere, lawyer mania, with business partner, with wife, everybody pissed. I mean, I know what it's like to not even want to open mail, you know, credit Mm -hmm. bills, you know. So you will get that, but you are worth more ever than that money. So if you do, as a result of things that might be coming, end up in that situation, recognize it's part of your obstacle course, it's part of your life, and it will lead to such immense gratitude when you are coming back. Visualize yourself on the other side of that stormy river and realize how much wiser, maturer, and more powered you will be with that extra gratitude for having been a survivor in one of the biggest tests of life. And you've been chosen for this obstacle course and that test because you can do it. And Mm -hmm. you honor your grandfather and all your deceased family and lineage by getting up every day, making your bed and uh, doing those chins you know choose choose the noose or choose the (laughs) choose the chinning bar and laugh about it learn to find time to laugh and say you know i have nothing you pay you you get it all written off and start again and you know you're still a human being you're still worthy of love and if you take that get physical get strong you need your wits about you you need to be fit and strong fit and healthy so kick out I don't drink alcohol on any meaningful level at all. I've gone a whole year without. I've even kicked out coffee. I came back a little bit onto it, just in minor levels. So anything that gives you headaches or reduces your performance, makes you hyper. I've got a lot of energy, as you probably realize. But (laughs) stimulus things, don't, don't go for that. Just get clean. Just start preparing. Start everyone watching this right now, even if you've 
doing great and you've got amazing business, start getting physically clean. Don't wait for the new year resolutions and all of that and make it, this is one you got to carry. Design your life around lifestyle and pay yourself first. These are important concepts. Live where you are most happy, doing the things that make you most happy that are beneficial to your health. I'm talking about happy as in sensible happiness, not getting high. Now come through this because the lucid of mind and the alert, if the people listening to this right now are part of your community, they are already awake and alert and they're already a better quality people. I'm talking to you, you're a survivor and I want you to prove to me that that's what you're going to do. So that's it. Let's sage and be wisdom, people of wisdom and sage and support to people. Because if you're giving people in that hour of need and many people are going to need support, be useful. You want to survive this thing? Be useful to people and offer it and, and then commoditize, systemize it, processize it and make it a business if you want to. Thank you for listening to this episode of Wired for Impact. If you're interested in creating and expanding your impact, be sure to visit us online at impactnow.com.